We are Julie and Martin and we live on our narrowboat Rhapsody in Blue. Join us on our journey as we go through some stunning scenery, tunnels, we meet wildlife on the way, as we cruise the inland waterways of the UK. Good morning. morning. <laughs> so we've, we've been here at Nantwich just for um, two nights, isn't it? Yeah, two yeah. nights. Um, it's beautiful here. We haven't really done a lot, but we just needed to sort of recharge our batteries, our own batteries, not the boat. <laughs> so yeah, yeah we're, we're uh, today. We're gonna get down to Alden, aren't we? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, have a day there. Yeah, go to Audlem, spend the night there, and then we're going to tackle the Audlem flight tomorrow, tomorrow morning. We're going to get up early. <laughs> early. <laughs> going to try anyway. And then, um, yeah, we'll see how far we get tomorrow. But yeah, we just a short hop to Audlem today. See you later. Well, that was good timing. Just as we were going to leave, a boat came along, and I just had an inkling that they were looking for somewhere to moor. So. They hung back and we've moved out and they're going to move into our space. Perfect timing. So as is tradition, <laughs> you always meet a boat either on a bend or a narrow bit or where there's moored boats. That's just part of boating. Oh, that's really good. He's hung back waiting for us. That's one good thing about boating, no one's ever in a hurry. And it's always take your time, very relaxed. That is actually one of the boats that um, is on Wallace Sheen Boats leaflets that uh, I believe Steve did the sign writing for. quite warm. Lots of people out walking today, it's Saturday morning. It is the 1st of April. Beautiful day. Yeah, this boat has kindly waited for us to come through. Thank you. So we're um, yeah, heading to Audlem. We're going to spend the night there. Hope to get in a nice early start in the morning and crack on up the locks tomorrow. Yeah, it's been a nice couple of days in Nantwich. turn now we've just called this boat through we can see that we were both going to get to the bridge at the same time so Martin's hovering we're going back a little bit and we've just called these people through just wave them forward sometimes you get to a bridge and you're not sure whose whose bridge it is if you know what I mean and then you both end up stopping so we made the decision we'll wait and we called them through makes it a lot easier in fact this is two bridges there's an arch bridge and then there's uh, what looks like the railway bridge. Is that a railway bridge? I'll have to have a look on my map. Martin will start creeping forward now, ready for us to go once this boat's passed. Well, that 
answered that question. It is a railway bridge. <laughs> Steady blood. So it's really it's an easy day today for us. It's um, weather's old enough. Quite pleasant really. Bird well, I'd say the birds singing. Um yeah, certainly enjoying it. Seen a few boats. A few flies about. <laughs> certainly got the views here. But this is the canal from our point of view. Someone else's, just us. Each and every one has their own way of doing things. Shape canals as they are, as it happens. Adventures now, we're heading south down the Shrubby. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll stick with us. We're going to be coming up to Hack Green Locks, so just two locks to do today. You've probably seen, them do, seen us do these before, I think, back in end of October, November. November. Yeah, it's nice to be moving again, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, um, certainly looking forward now to getting them. Yeah. And although we had some absolutely fantastic times on the Clang Goblin, um, it is nice to be doing something different now. And obviously everybody's gone their own separate ways now, haven't they? Yep. Some have gone north, some have gone south. So, yeah, it's really nice. It's, it's nice to be doing something different. Um, we miss everybody. Oh, ridiculous, isn't it? We you do at first, but then you just get back to your own ways of doing things. I mean, we were just like a big community and we all worked together, but now we're back to... Just us? Yeah, just us <laughs> doing our thing. Yep. But, uh, Enjoying the canal, taking our time. Hopefully this summer we're going to be heading down towards the River Nee, which we used to do in our previous days when we were living in Peterborough or near Peterborough. So... Yeah. Well, last time we was on the name, it was a little cruiser. We had a little GRP cruiser, yes. Yeah, see, last so, 27. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be nice to it'd be nice to go down the Neen with an narrowboat and see all, you know, some old friends. Looking forward to it, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Right. right, there's a bridge coming up. I'm going to put this camera down and I'm going to face it forward, actually. Okay. This is the first of the Hack Green Locks. Let's see, should theoretically be in our favour. So it should be empty locks, so let's see. Oh, lots of little doggies. Hello. <laughs> Second of the Hack Green Locks. It's actually Hack Green Lock One. 
because it's at the top of the flight. When there's a flight of locks, it's always numbered from the top to the bottom. So you probably just see Martin coming through there, just crossing the other boat in the pound. second of the hat green locks and I think just up before the next bridge if you can walk just there you walk along up the bridge then you can walk down to the um, secret bunker that's all we're going to do today we're just going to head up to all now and hopefully that will do us for today luck would have it there's another boat coming so when, when the water's level, we'll be able to just open this gate. I'll be able to hop on and we can leave it open. Perfect. Hey, another Rhapsody in blue. Look at that. How lovely to see the other Rhapsody in blue. We know there is one other, a wide beam, but let us know in the comments if there's any others, won't you? I don't know if you remember, back in beginning of November, I think it was, we, um, we went to the Hack Green, there you go, the Hack Green secret nuclear bunker. And it's just up there, just a short walk. Obviously not very secret now, but um, yeah, well worth a visit. you can hear the guns there's a firing range just over there well the gunshot is really loud now This is, this is cool, Pilot. You've got all the picnic benches and barbecue areas. Nice bit of green to sit out on. Oh, it's lovely and open. So you get nice solar as well for your batteries. So the boat's happy as well. It's very loud today. Lovely and quiet, apart from the gunshot. <laughs> on cue. Wow. Most of the time it's quiet. Now I've got noon. Hello there. Over here. <laughs> I'm worried now. Got some cows here in the field. I've just looked them up. They are called belted galloways. They look like they've got a white belt on.
some more up along here on the left and it looks like there's plenty of space so that looks good that looks promising hey looks like we're going to go just past this creamy color boat here and more just the other side hopefully we'll get a nice view Famous droppy fly. We're going to go in and have a shandy. Yeah, so inside the pub we have a boat called the droppy fly that is now the bar. I've been on this lovely mooring just for one night and we are now going to go up the Auden flight and our friend Nikki has joined us by car to come and help us up the flight. Isn't that nice? Thanks Nikki! <laughs> <coughs> yep. So we're just going to walk up now to the flight and set the first lock which is number 15. Cool. See you there. And I'll meet you soon. Yeah, cool. See you in a bit. So far coming up to lock three and uh, they're all against us today so having to reset every single lock. I'm just on my way to reset the third one. Nikki did the last one so we're taking turns which is good. <laughs> Going into lock number six for us today. Not even halfway yet. Locks as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Got number five ready, and Martin's just leaving lock number six. Martin's literally had to surf that by wash there. Good lord. But he's done it lovely again. Well done you. Luck would have it. There's a boat coming out of lock three. We've just come out, or coming out of lock four. So we've left that one open. 
and we can go straight into lock three. Cool. It's too dinky little boat. It's a proper happy little boat, that first one. The second one's got a moustache. <laughs> Inside lock number two. There's no, no numbers on the gates on these ones. Well, we were going to come and use the honesty shop, but there doesn't appear to be anything here today. It's completely bare. I was looking forward to buying some cakes. Let's have a look and see if there's anything in the fridges. Nope. Oh, there's ice cream. But it's a little bit too cool for ice cream at the moment. Oh, what a shame. Never mind. Well, wouldn't you know, they saw us and obviously felt sorry for us and she bought some cakes out just for us. <laughs> so we're happy again. Mm -hmm. 